So hey guys, as promised, I am back with my Sephora haul. So I hope that you'll go grab a cup of tea or coffee, but definitely grab a chair. It might be a long one. I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can. That said, there's a lot to go through here. I want to let you know that I did, unfortunately, I threw away the bag. I threw away some of the boxes for the purpose of storage. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. So I'm very limited on storage. So before I had decided that I was going to share this haul with you guys, I did get rid of some of that, that um, the boxes, etc. So just so you know, but I have not used any of these products yet. However, some of these products are repurchases. And of course, I will let you know which ones those are as we go through them. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to it. The first thing I got was the Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. I've seen so many people haul this and use this, and I've had seen a lot of good reviews on YouTube and online, so I thought I'm gonna give this a go because, well, I'm a skincare and makeup junkie, what can I say? All right, I guess the next thing is, this was a little bit of a splurge, so, all right, the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence, which is a pure green tea essence. She's pretty. So we shall see how this works out. Also a lot of really good reviews. I will, of course, let you guys know how everything turns out. If you'd like to know, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know which products you're interested in hearing about. Uh, but I always give my skincare at least three, four weeks, sometimes even longer, to give them a fair shot, see if they really do the trick, see how they, uh, how my skin is affected by them, good, bad, or ugly. So just know that it'll be, it'll be maybe three weeks, a month or so before I would actually um, do a review on any of these products to let you guys know. So keep that in mind. All right, the next thing that I got was the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This for me is a repurchase. I do enjoy this setting spray. I've heard mixed reviews on this, but I enjoy it. I like it, so I repurchased another one. Uh, next thing is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day uh, Nightcap Overnight Perfector. I love this. I have used this before as well, and I love it. So, um, yeah, this seems to... I put this on at night, usually, before I go to bed. Uh, sometimes I'll put it on right after I've washed my hair because I often take my showers at night. So I will put it on before I go to bed um, or right after, you know, my shower, whichever comes first. And then I will uh, sleep with it in and wash it out the next day or leave it in for a couple days, whatever. But I, it really seems to make my hair softer, more manageable, um, and uh, less kind of straw like where on the ends where I have uh, some blonding that is growing out so love this all right then I ended up getting the Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I have not really made any I haven't used these shadows on my eyes yet I have uh, done a little bit of swatching for myself if you guys want to see a look on this let me know uh, that you know I just had to get it the colors are so beautiful and I really like uh, her formula I do I really enjoy her shadows so I'm excited to play around with this palette so you guys let me know if you want to see anything from this palette too and I'll be happy to do that should I do a swatch I'll do a swatch I'm sure you've seen a million of them by now because this is old news I guess but uh, it's new to me so I'm gonna just go ahead and swatch a couple just because it looks fun I'm gonna do um, dreamer which is this lighter shimmer here and then I think I'll also do ooh, the rose gold that's actually what it's called rose gold and it's beautiful I'll go ahead and do that one too so why not right guys go ahead and oh my gosh these are super super soft and buttery I would expect nothing less from Anastasia Beverly Hills and so here's those swatches ooh, yeah those are really pretty beautiful all right next thing is the Dr. Jart Cicapair Derma Green Solution, the Tiger Grass Cream. Now this I've also purchased. This is a, a repurchase for me also, and I love this stuff. It seems to really help with redness, of course, <laughs> not right now because I am, 
I'm just warm. But typically I do get uh, I do get redness, you know, splotchiness on my face, hormonal, whatever you want to call it. And this does seem to help, so I, I use this for that. And uh, if you guys want to see any um, uh, more intense review on the Sika pair, let me know because I'd be happy to do that because I also use the Tiger Grass uh, Repair Serum, which helps as well, and I use those together. I do alternate my skincare though, so I don't use all of this at once, clearly, but um, but yeah, I really enjoy the Dr. Jart. And I also actually have used his Ceramidin Cream, which I enjoy as well, so. Um, alrighty, next, uh, makeup product. I have gotten the Tarte Lippy Lingerie uh, Matte Lip Tint in Exposed. Because, well, a girl can never have enough nudes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so let's do a little swatch of that too. I'm excited to try to wear to wear this. So hopefully we're in focus. Can't really tell. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm excited for that. Yep, that's gonna look good. Excited. All right. And then I got the uh, another repeat purchase for me, which is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I love this stuff. Love, 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 love. Yes, it's so good for me. Again, I've heard some people say that, you know, it doesn't do much for them. This stuff has been phenomenal for my skin. So um, it just seems to, when I use this in conjunction with the good jeans, it, my skin the next day is just like, it's so soft, it's so smooth, and it just looks like a glow from within. And so yeah. These are repeat purchases, and I will probably always purchase these unless unless I find something I really like better. So, of course, after that, we have to go into the good jeans because I got a good jeans as well. So, I'm sure most of you know what this looks like by now, but I'll give you a little peek. So, that is the good jeans. And I should probably show you the Luna Oil too, which I feel like most people have probably seen both of these. A lot already but but you never know so give everybody a fair shot so this is the Luna sleeping oil okay hopefully that's focusing guys I guess I'll find out when I uh, check out this video so fingers crossed so that's the Luna oil all right now next what are we going into next oh I did uh, another repurchase for me the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is in Sin. And this is the one that I almost always use. It just seems to work the best on my eyes. I have, you know, hooded eyes, but they're also, I have kind of crepey skin on uh, my eyelids, kind of a wrinkly texture. And so that's one of the few that I found works really well for me, for my eyes. So uh, that's a repurchase as well. Uh, another repurchase for me is the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. I did get it in, uh, what is this, vanilla? Ah, uh, gee, guys, it's, uh, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, vanilla. I got it in vanilla this time. My last one is the pink one, which I think is called just berry. Um, but I thought I'd try a different flavor. And it does come with a little uh, dipping thing, but I couldn't find that. So I know it's somewhere, but go figure, right? All right. Um, let's see. Next thing is, oh, apple cider vinegar, ACV, um, uh, detangling leave-in therapy. Uh, this is, uh, new for me. I had seen some really good reviews on this, so I thought, you know, I'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. So, um, I have not used this yet, but, um, I will be. I just, I use up products before I go into my new products, of course, for obvious reasons. I don't want anything to go to waste. Um, when you spend money on skincare and makeup, you guys know, you can't let things go to waste. So once my other bottles are finished, then I will move on to that. And of course, if you guys want to know how that works out for me, let me know in the comments section and I will happily do a review on that as well. Um, all right. Whew. Take a breath. Okay, guys, moving on. <laughs> All right, so I also picked up the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm. And I'm super excited to give this a try. Really excited. I've used um, a Korean brand. Uh, the name escapes me in the moment, but I'll think of it now. Um, I'll think of it at some point, probably when this video is over. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
I use a Korean brand currently as well as alternating with my DHC cleansing oil, which is my holy grail of cleansing oils. I, you know, but I do like the cleansing balms as well and I kind of change it up a little bit. Um, I feel like my skin kind of gets used to things and then they're not as effective. I don't know. Do you guys ever notice that with your skin? Well, anyway, I noticed that with my skin. So change it up once in a while. So I wanted to try something new. So I went on to that pharmacy. I actually think pharmacy is, is this a Korean brand? Uh, maybe not. Yes, it is. This is a Korean brand as well. So, um, so I'm not, I'm not straying too far, I guess, from what I typically use. Another thing from pharmacy that I got that I heard amazing things about is this honey potion renewing antioxidant hydration mask with echinacea green envy honey okay uh that's quite a name but uh, i heard amazing things about this so ooh, fingers crossed i hope this works as well as i've heard it's um it's just a hydration mask i think can you use it let's see sorry guys i'm just trying to see um, this super hydrating mask with natural honey sugars is rich in amino acids and essential B vitamins that help to smooth dry skin and renew its look. The balm gently warms and transforms into a rich cream as it's massaged into the skin. So, sounds good to me. Uh, let's hope. Fingers crossed because I'm really excited. I've, I have used honey products before too, so I'm, I'm really excited. And I've noticed... Uh, my husband and I had gone to Korea a couple of years ago and I bought a lot of skincare there and uh, since then I've done a lot of research on Korean skincare and I do incorporate a lot of that into my routine as well. And I feel like their products, I don't know, they always work really well to me, phenomenally well. So if you guys want to see a video on all of my Korean products, my skincare products from Korea, I'm also some from Japan, let me know and I would happily do a, um, I, I could do actually do a haul and some um, reviews on some of those items for you guys too. So let me know. All right, another thing I got was the um, Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I have not used this. As I said, I took it out of the box, but I have not even opened it yet. So I do not know how well I like this, but heard some good things. And, and I do enjoy Drunk Elephant brand. So, you know, I kind of feel like even if it's not a great for me, it's still going to be good. So I'm not too worried about, you know, the money with that. I'm not worried about, you know, having a product that I'm going to feel like I have to throw away, even though I spent, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars on it. So another one from Drunk Elephant is the C-Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. And I've heard a lot about this one too. So Whew, getting out of breath, guys, but I don't want this video to be too long. And I still have quite a bit to go through here. So deep breath and moving on. Another Korean product, Laneige, the Special Care Eye Sleeping Mask. I have been wanting to try this. I ordered it, but I'm using up, uh, I alternate my eye creams and I'm using up two different eye creams right now. So I don't want to introduce a new one until I'm finished with those because I want to make sure if I have a reaction or whatever the results are, I want to make sure that I, um, I know it would be from this. So um, it comes with this really, really neat um, applicator tip for the eyes, which I don't know, kind of, I'm, I'm looking forward to using this and I think it's going to be, going to be fun to actually try this applicator tip as well. And I do like a lot of the Laneige products. So, and then moving on to Belief, which is the moisturizing eye balm, another eye product here. So let's open that up and let's see what that looks like. I think a lot of you have seen the Belief stuff um, floating around, but I've never tried one of their eye products. So I will also be experimenting with this one. And then I, another thing from Belief is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I have used this one before. I love it. And uh, I don't know, it's just a really good, in my mind, it's just a really good um, daily moisturizer. I've never had any kind of issues with it, and I have very sensitive skin. So... I picked that up. You know, actually, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to open up these pharmacy um, products, too, because I've never actually seen them. I, uh, Like I said, I've not used anything from this company before, so I'm kind of interested to see what their packaging is like. So, oh my, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys, bear with me here. Oh, it's so cute. 
It's so cute. This is the Honey Potion from Pharmacy. Look how cute that is, you guys. Come on. And it actually comes with this little spatula to use, too. I mean, how adorable is that? Seriously. I would expect nothing less from Korea, though. I swear, everything they make over there is cute. And it's easy to spend way too much money there, too. So I'm going to op also open up the Green Clean uh, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. If I can get it open. Apparently, I don't have enough strength. All right. <laughs> wow. So much. So much boxing. All right. So this is what the cleanser looks like. The cleansing balm looks like. And... I would love to show you what these look like, but I do not open my skincare products until or unless I'm ready to actually use them because I don't want them to go bad. And I also know the more um, air that gets to your skincare products, you know, it, it just, uh, it deteriorates them. So I'm not going to show you guys that. So I apologize in advance, but I'm sure you'll understand. Uh, okay. I've got a couple more items here. I do have the Tatcha Silken Pore Refining Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35 PA++++. Woo! All right. How about that? So I've been wanting to get this sunscreen for a while, but it was always sold out, and I finally got my hands on it because so many people had told me that it was a really beautiful sunscreen. So I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be, I will admit. And here it is. So it's just a little smaller than the palm of my hand. So, um, yeah. All right. So I'm excited to try that out. And then another item from Tatcha is the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Now, like I said, my DHC um, cleansing oil, which is a, from a Japanese, it's a Japanese company, I have been using DHC since I was, well, since I started flying, I, I probably had been had been a flight attendant for maybe um, six months before I stumbled across the DHC uh, skincare line, and I don't even remember how how I discovered it, but I know when I discovered it, and I have been using that that cleansing oil since then, along with a couple of their other products, which I I still love, so. It's a it's a good uh, a good product line. Okay, so this is what this uh, cleansing oil looks like now. Um, I just wanted to try this out because I had heard some good things about it. Um, even though I kind of hate to cheat on my DHC, <laughs> but but really I I just wanted to try this out. I want to see how it is, uh, and you never know you. I always like trying th new things because you never know if you're going to find something better. And new and better things keep coming around every day, right guys? So yeah, so I'm going to just give those a whirl. Then a couple of fun things that I got were the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil. So I picked that up. I've seen a lot of videos on this and I've actually used this since I got it. And uh, But I just put it back in the package so you guys could see. And, uh, but I, I'm really liking it. And I wasn't sure if I would like it just because, well, I'm 47. I have some fine lines and typically highlighters and so on and so forth, especially something as glittery as this, they just exacerbate those fine lines or, you know, bring attention to things that I don't want them to bring attention to. But this, honestly, as glittery as it is, it almost looks... It almost looks wet on the skin. I'll do a swatch for you guys here. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that, but it's, it's you know, gonna look subdued because I just, I only have natural lighting, so it's gonna look sub subdued, but it is so pretty. It is so pretty. So, um, yeah, so I've been using that and I love it. I love it. It's, it's beautiful. And then I also picked up her, um, glitter balm lip balm from Fenty Beauty because I saw this in the store and you know, guys, I don't wear a lot of lip gloss, but this is actually gorgeous. I love it. It's beautiful. And I'm so happy I got it. Then with some of my points, I do save up a lot of my points. Um, to get some of the bigger items later on, but I did get a couple of mascaras that I really wanted to try. 
Uh, this one actually has been around for a long time, but I've never tried it, so I'm excited to try this. This is the, the um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I will open this. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before, but... Oh, here. And so this is what the brush looks like. And I do typically like these wider or fluffier brushes. And then I also got the NARS Climax Mascara. And I've heard a lot of good things about that too. And I've actually used this one. And I, I really enjoy this mascara. Though I'm not sure if it's my favorite. Thing. Was that enough? <laughs> okay. So believe it or not, um, I actually have a couple more hauls coming up for you guys. I just haven't had time to film them yet. I have a, an Ulta haul, a Derm Store haul, um, and then a couple of, of Korean brand hauls that, um, you know, if you guys want to see those, let me know. I... You know, I have a lot of stuff to, to talk about from there as well. If you like this video, please hit that like button, you guys. And, you know, let me know your thoughts on some of these items. If you've used them, if you want to see how I use them, I really want to hear from you guys. Also, if you please hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate your support on my channel. I'm a new YouTuber, so I'd really appreciate your support. And also, uh, check out some of my other videos up here and uh, see what else I'm bringing to you. And yeah, I just, I really appreciate you being here, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this video is probably gonna be kind of long, but there was a lot of stuff to go through. So, and now I'm exhausted, so whew.